I said he would be with me. And a lot of people said they would be with me. And then when I look around, they wasn't there. But when God said he would be with me. I know he would be
If you will, turn to Luke chapter. I want to look at Luke. as I do. 
in the now. And so I wondered, I said, now, since I'm on the Lord's side, things ought to be better. You know, when you serve in the devil, amen, when you, when, when you serve the devil, he has no reason to bother you. Chris, because you, you, you already on his side. It's no reason for he to, him to bother you. You serve him. So what, what reason has he had to bother you if he already got you? Somebody ought to say amen. When I accepted Jesus Christ for my personal sake, he brought me out of darkness to the marvelous light, delivered me from drugs and alcohol, delivered me from some of the things that I was afflicted with. My brothers and sisters, ever since I've been on the Lord's side, it seems like he's been coming. Amen. Amen. I guess everything I try to do. But oh, my brothers and sisters, when I think about the goodness of Jesus and what he's done for me, yeah. how he loved me in Amen. spite of me. Uh -huh. Oh, I have determination uh -huh. to go on and see what the end is going to be. Amen. 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 So, so, that's what I want to talk about because it takes the determination to live for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Ostracize, criticize, lie on them, talk about them, dish you, ridicule. Can I get it with you? Right. You can keep on going. Amen. Right. Every since you've been on the Lord's side, seems like things just come against you. Yeah. Yeah. But I thank God, amen, for what I've been through because if it had not been for some of my troubles and trials and all of and things and disappointments and all of that, I wouldn't know the Lord like I do. Yeah. Can I hear the witness? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Devil wanted me to give up, said, hey, quit, quit, quit. Get on out of here, quit, quit. You're not, now you're not, look at you. You're sick, you're, just look at you. But, oh, I come by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, I have made up my mind. Good job, man. And I'm determined. Sometimes down, sometimes up. Yeah. Disappointment, but I'm determined. Somebody else say, I'm, I'm determined, determined to serve the Lord. Can I get a witness? Webster, Webster, Webster defines determination as the act of decided, definitely, and firm. Webster said firm or fix intentions to achieve a desired end. Mm -hmm. That's good. A desired end. That's not like faith. Faith come by hearing it. Hearing come by hearing it. Faith says, I, I don't know the outcome, but yet still I got the faith to know that I don't know how I'm going to make it, but Woo! somehow yeah, yeah. I can't see the end, I don't know the results, but faith can me just keep on going. Oh, right. Is that right? Yeah. So, so determination, that's the act of deciding. I, I decided, made my mind up, I made my commitment, amen, no matter what happened, I'm determined to serve the Lord. Amen. That ought to be all of our desire, my brothers and sisters, because it is a struggle. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness here? Because oh, yes. Paul said, when I desire to do good, Mama, seem like evil all the way around. When I desire to do good, evil is always there. Yeah. 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 That ought to be a witness this morning. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Determination. That's a good word. Determination is, is important characteristics in life. It is what keeps us going when 
we'd rather give up. Y'all pray with me. Amen. Determination keeps us from quitting. Amen. A demanding job. Amen. Oh, my brother says, how many times I wanted to quit when I was working at U.S. Bank? <laughs> God Almighty. Yes, sir. I had one of the worst supervisors you ever had. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? As, as, as much as he treated me and as much as he tried to put on me, I had the determination this joke is not going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to mess with me. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what you say. Yeah. I have the determination. I'm not going to give up. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Oh, man. Man. I know it gets hard sometimes. I know, you know, the circumstances might get tedious sometimes. But oh, when you have made up your mind that you're going to have the determination, amen, to stay. Somebody said stay. Stay. Determination keeps us from quitting, Mom, and, and giving up on even on our marriage. Yeah. I've been married now for what, some 42, three years, I believe. <laughs> My mind, amen. Come on, son. How many know? I mean, you've been married a long time. That was some times I, I oh Lord, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody said the Lord, the Lord would help. Can I, can I get a witness here? But oh, somebody had to have the determination to have the steep power. People are giving up on marriages. Amen. Giving up on their dreams. Can I get a witness here? So, 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 so. Determination. Listen, listen, listen to me. I, 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 determination, Chris, helps us endure life storm. Mm -hmm. have, you ever, have you ever been in a storm? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been Amen. in a storm? Amen. Oh, many times I've, I've been through a storm, but determination helps you to get through a storm. Amen. Because they are coming. Mm -hmm. We're in a storm now. Amen, amen. I said, we are the storm now. Amen. But I got the determination, my brothers and sisters, no matter where, I'm going to keep on serving the Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness here? If I have to wear my mask, fine. I'm going to keep on serving the Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Every day I get up, amen, and every time, amen, I see the bright sunshine, it lets me know I'm going to have the determination to serve the Lord. Amen. amen. And determination helps us endure life storms and battles. Uh, determination helps us, amen, against temptations. Yeah. We persevere through our trials. And none of us can get through life without having the determination. Amen. Amen. You got up this morning determined to get here to New Hope Baptist Church. Amen. Yeah. You were determined. You got up, put on your clothes. Amen. You got in your car, and you were determined to get here because you wanted to come and praise the Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. I said you come to praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, my brothers and sisters, we are so grateful and thankful, my brothers and sisters, because it takes determination. Amen. Because the devil don't want you to serve the Lord. Amen. This is simply true. It is comes to the believers, my brothers and sisters. Living your life for the Lord requires determination. Amen. I say it requires determination. Amen. What more is amazing to me, my brothers and sisters, than many folks have have has resigned from serving the Lord. Amen. They've given up. They have thrown in the towel. They are no longer in the race. They have turned their backs and said, no more. I'm just tired. Uh -huh. Have you ever been tired? Yeah. And so some people just get tired and give up. But oh, if God's been good to you, if God has really been good to you, you ought to say, I'm determined to serve the Lord. Right? Yeah. You see, it takes determination to serve the Lord. Rather than folks, amen, resigning, we need folks who are willing to resign, amen, recommit, and say, no matter what's going on, I'm going to serve the Lord. Amen. amen. The work, of, amen, is, the work that we have is too important for us to give up now. Amen. We have 
have a lot of people that don't know Jesus. Amen. We need somebody to tell them what the Lord has done. Determined to serve the Lord. And when I look back in the history of the Bible, I think about Daniel, mm -hmm. who was committed to praying three times a day. Mm -hmm. And they tried to stop him from praying. Mm -hmm. They tried to keep him from praying. But he prayed three times a day. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want us to pray. They don't want us to pray no more because they feel like prayer is not good for us. But how many know prayer changes things? Yeah. Daniel prayed three times a day. They tried to stop him, but they couldn't stop him. He says, I'm not going to stop praying. And they put him in the lion's den. But he said, I'm going to keep on praying. Yeah. Think about it. the three Hebrew boys in the fire furnace. So we're not going to bow to you today. Uh, we're going to keep serving the Lord. Amen. Paul, amen, talks about that. Paul says, I'm a born servant of the Lord. That means I'm locked down, yeah. tied up, tangled up with the Lord. Amen. So it is, my brothers and sisters, we always think about our pressing toward I will keep on keeping on power because God is able to help us persevere. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I look at the two guys of Zebedee, these two, these two, these two boys. The mother wanted, wanted them to have a high position. They wanted them to, when they heard about, she heard about Jesus' kingdom, so she wanted her two sons to have a position in God's kingdom. And uh, Jesus began to tell them, now, if you are going to be, uh, 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 if you're going to do this, if you need this position, then you, 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 you're going to have to uh, receive this cup. Can you bear the cup? You know, a lot of people want positions, amen, but they don't want to go through. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It takes determination to eat my brothers and sisters to go through some things sometimes. Yeah. But they, she wanted, she wanted them to have a place with Jesus, a position. Amen. And Jesus says, it's not mine to give. It belongs to the Father. Mm -hmm. and he wanted them to know that if you want a position, you have to be humble. Mm -hmm. We have to be humble, my brothers and sisters. And Jesus told them this. He said, I did not come to be served, but I come to serve. Amen. Aren't you glad Jesus comes to serve? Amen. So it is, my brothers and sisters, as we look at this determination to serve, we got to understand sometimes our life struggles causes us not to persevere. Amen. I'm so glad, my brothers and sisters, that Scripture tells us uh, in Galatians 6 and 9, let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, if we don't give up, give out, and give in, mm -hmm. we are fainting not. Amen. That means that we got to keep on keeping. Amen. Yeah. No matter how hard things get, we got to keep on keeping on. Amen. Because the reason we can keep on giving on, because sometimes we get weary and tired. Sometimes we get disappointed, but we have to understand, my brothers and sisters, that strength is available to us when we persevere. Right. Amen. It is my brothers and sisters that we get tired and weary, but yet still God is still on the throne. Right. Amen. It is that right? Amen. It's bad enough my brothers and sisters be in a rat race, but sometimes it seems like the rat of winning. <laughs> sometimes we don't understand my brothers and sisters uh, that the race is not given to the one that runs the fastest, but the one that's endured to the end. Amen. We live in a society that is moving at such a rapid pace that the weariness is the rule. Mm -hmm. Amen, brothers and sisters. It seems like we have no expectation that we can keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. 
Can they get a witness here? Amen. Unfortunately, this also applies to our walk with God. We have to keep determined to walk with the Lord. How Amen. do we do that? We have to pray. We have to yeah. meditate. Yeah. We have to ask the Lord for help. Every day we get up in the morning, our eyes ought to look up to him and ask, Lord, help me yes. in this life journey. Yes. Amen. You have to gain strength from reading our Bibles and praying and giving, amen, giving our best to the Lord and, and, and talking to him and asking him to help us because, my brothers and sisters, we get weary and tired. We grow weary. No wonder, no wonder my brothers and sisters, sometimes many people say, I'm through, I give up, I'm tired. Enough is enough. It is, my brothers and sisters, we do get weary. Somebody said weary. The word weary here means to be weak or to fail. To be weak or fail. Apostle Paul wrote under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and said, let us not be weary. Don't be weary. Don't be discouraged. Don't be despondent. Oh, my brothers and sisters, sometimes we get discouraged. But I come by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, all good things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. Amen. Amen. How is this possible, my brothers and sisters? It seems like, amen, sometimes the more we take one step, we fall two steps back. Sometimes the more we do for the Lord, it seems like our lives and situations are not getting better. But I come by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that Jesus told us. If we would just look to him yeah. for the help that we need, he is able to see us through the storm. Amen. So how is this possible for us in this world that we live in, my brothers and sisters, to get the strength that is available to us? Amen. Because we've got to understand that we have to look to the Lord because he is the grace. He is the strength. Second Corinthians 12 and 9 says that he said unto me, and he told Paul, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is in me perfect in weakness. He said, most glad, and listen to what he said, most glad therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities that in the power of Christ my rest upon me. What are you talking about? Paul, you're glorying in your infirmities and your weaknesses. What you mean? You're giving God the glory even though you got a headache, backache, headache, heartache. You, you glorified in your infirmities. How are you doing this, Paul? Because he knows that God is my strength. Then he realized in Philippians 14, he said, I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthened me. And it is my brothers and sisters that we got to understand living in time like this that we need the determination. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. We need the determination to go on and see what the end is going to be. It's because my brother and sister mama read a scripture a while ago. It's talking about waiting on the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we want the determination. We have to ask the Lord. We got to wait on His help. Amen. Because I believe we're living in a society now. It is that we have microwave dinners, yeah. instant potatoes, yeah. stove top stuffing, <laughs> concentrated orange juice, drive through windows, thirty minute pizza delivery. Yeah. One hour photo de development, high speed internet, cell phone, text message, 10 minute all changes, and more. My brother, so it seems like nobody want to wait on the Lord. Can I get a witness? Because He will come in due season if you just, just not faint. Amen. If you wait on the Lord, He will come. Well, a time where you don't even expect it. Grandma used to say it like this, and I'm going home. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Can I get a witness here? Realize, my brothers and sisters, that in the need of persevering and having the determination and serving the Lord, Paul realized that his love for God. Amen. And made him determined to do more for the Lord. Yeah. Everybody ought to have a determined to do, to, look, to do what God has called you to do. Can I get a witness here? 
I'm going home, give me five minutes, and I'm going to ask a question, and I'm going to take off like an airplane. If I ask you the question, how many in here love the Lord? How many really love it? How many really love it? We ought to have a determination to give 
when I think about it, what Paul said, he told Timothy at the end of his life, he's coming to the end of his life, Paul began to tell Timothy, Timothy, I'm getting old now. Yeah. I've been through many things. Yeah. I've been snake bit. Yeah. I've been shipwrecked. Yeah. I've been in prison. Yeah. But I'm still determined. Yeah. Because I'm going to keep on pressing yeah. <laughs> toward the mark of the high call. Yeah. Somebody here ought to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, yeah. <laughs> whatever you're going through, just keep on pressing. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Press your way through.
See, the devil don't show you what's going on down the road. Yeah. That's when my heart goes out to people who are on drugs. Can I get a witness here? Because you feeling good now, but he don't show you, amen, 20 or 30 years from now, what that stuff does to you. Are y'all over here, man? I was so engulfed in that stuff. Let me tell you the reason I'm determined to serve the Lord. I was smoking so much of that stuff until somebody with my bad self, you know, you got to be careful how you whoop up the people come. The devil don't, you know, the devil don't play. You think you're bad, somebody here said somebody else. Can I get a witness here? Yeah, and I'm going around here and smoking. Amen. So one day, my enemies, uh -huh. all my brothers and sisters, the enemy are trying to take you out. Yes, sir. I said, the enemy are trying to take you out. Yes, one day, I'm going to get my little stash like I normally do, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to get my 20 cent, my 20 cent, my $20 bag. I don't know what they call it now. But oh, mother, when I got this bag, Oh man, well, darn it, I got to smoking. And I, I looked like the world was turning. I was seeing all kinds of balloons. I, I thought I saw, it looked, it looked to me like a giraffe or something. It, it was slapping like this, and I was having delusions. And I was looking, and I said, oh, oh Jesus Christ, what's going on? Can I get a witness here? Amen. So, Lord, you know I love you. 
And if you love the Lord, even if you have a determination to serve him, how many love him today? Amen. 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 It's called a good God. Amen. 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 You gonna try? Okay, all right. All right, I won't try. But I'm still here, y'all, by the grace of God. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. I don't talk about it, but I'm still here Amen. by the grace of God. Amen. You got it? Amen. 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 We're going to try it. Amen. Put your hands together for I'm still here. Amen. 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 Amen.